Picture this, a car with the power of 12 Formula One cars combined. A car that drinks fuel faster than an A350 jet during takeoff and accelerates so quickly that drivers experience g-forces similar to what astronauts face during space launches. But here's the crazy part, this isn't a spaceship, it's a top fuel dragster. These machines are so fast, they hit 338 miles an hour in just 3.6 seconds, faster than most cars can get to 60 miles an hour. To put that into perspective, imagine a car reaching top speed as fast as the blink of an eye. The secret? It's not just the engine, it's the tyres. These tyres don't just grip the track, they handle the power, control the torque and keep the car glued to the asphalt, launching it forward at lightning speed. So what makes these tyres so special? How do they pull 4.5 Gs under acceleration and what happens when they start to shake like they've lost control? Let's break it down. Before we dive into the tyres, let's talk about the heart of the beast, the engine. Top fuel dragsters are powered by Chrysler Hemi 500 cubic inch engines. That's more than 8 litres of displacement. These engines are supercharged, running on nitromethane fuel, which burns hotter than your average race fuel. And the spark plugs? So powerful, they could be used as arc welders. It's like setting fire to the competition. This is where the magic happens. 11,000 horsepower. That's like putting the power of a 747 jet engine in a car that's only about 12 feet long. And fuel consumption, these bad boys burn through 11 gallons of fuel per pass, which means they're drinking fuel like a jet engine on full throttle. Imagine a car so thirsty, it could down an entire bathtub of fuel in a single run. The noise, it's so intense, the two dragsters racing together once registered a 2.3 on the Richter scale, basically an earthquake. The engines are under so much strain the teams have to completely rebuild them between rounds, swapping out pistons, rods and crankshafts, and they do all this in under two hours. Now let's talk tyres. These aren't just big round rubber things, these tyres are custom built to handle insane levels of power. Top fuel dragsters use ripple wall slicks. But why slicks? Well, slicks don't have treads like normal tyres. This maximises the tyres contact patch the area of the tyre that touches the asphalt, and it gives the car better traction. They're also specifically designed to handle extreme low pressures, around 7.5 psi, which is roughly one quarter the pressure of a normal road car tyre. For reference, normal car tyres run at around 32 to 35 psi. So yeah, these dragster tyres are way lower in pressure, which might sound odd at first, but here's why it works. At launch, the immense torque from the engine pushes down on the tyres. The tyres squat, flattening the bottom and increasing the contact patch, which gives the car better grip for that explosive launch. The effect is almost like a race car revving up. More rubber hitting the track means better traction. But there's more. The tyres don't just flatten, they wrinkle. This phenomenon, often called crinkling or folding, helps reduce instantaneous torque at launch. And if the engine unleashed all of its power at once, the car would be slipping and spinning out of control. Instead, the gradual application of force leads to better control, kind of like easing into the throttle in your everyday car to avoid wheel spin. Think of it like shifting gears without a gearbox. It's pretty cool, right? As the car speeds up, the tires balloon. The centrifugal force at high RPMs causes them to stretch. This increases the drive ratio, helping the car hit top speed with greater performance. To put it simply, squatting gives you better power off the line, while ballooning gives you better performance at high speed. It's like shifting gears, but without the hassle of actually touching a gear stick. The tyres themselves handle the shifting, which is why dragsters often use a single drive gear. Now let's talk about tyre shake. The tyre shake phenomenon is as violent as it sounds. It happens when the tyres lose grip under the immense power and the entire car begins to vibrate uncontrollably. The tyres lose contact with the track surface, which causes a massive loss of traction and throws off the driver's control. Picture this, the car is struggling to stay grounded and instead of a slight skid like you might expect on ice, 
The dragster is dealing with 11,000 horsepower trying to get all four wheels back on track. If left unchecked, tire shake can cause serious damage to components like the drivetrain or suspension. It's a problem that teams work hard to avoid. Now the key to minimizing tire shake lies in fine tuning the car's clutch release and adjusting the dampers to manage traction more effectively. Here's where we need to clarify though. Dragsters don't use traditional shock absorbers. Instead, they rely on specialized dampers that are specifically designed to handle the extreme forces of drag racing. These dampers are built to keep the car stable under acceleration and prevent the violent shaking that can disrupt the run. Unlike other race cars that rely on complex suspension systems, dragsters are designed with rigid setups for straight line speed, allowing the tires to do most of the work. Now let's talk about compound. The tires used in drag racing are made from extremely soft rubber. So soft that even Formula One tires look like rocks in comparison. Why so soft? Because softer rubber creates more grip by conforming to the track surface which means better traction, especially when the car is accelerating. The downside, however, is that this soft rubber wears out much faster. And these tires are designed to last just a couple of miles before being replaced. About eight runs total, that's it. If you think about it, it's like a high performance sports shoe that grips so well, but wears out after a few intense sprints. The rubber molecules heat up and rub together as they make contact with the track which causes wear and degradation. And this is why dragster tires are designed to be used for short bursts, because long-term durability just isn't the point. Performance is. Before the race even starts, top fuel dragsters perform a burnout. It's not just for show, this is a crucial part of tire preparation. The burnout does two things. It heats the tires to the optimal temperature and lays down a sticky layer of rubber on the track. This gives the tires maximum grip, ensuring the car has the best possible launch. Think of it like preheating a grill before throwing your steaks on it. The tires need to be at the perfect temperature to give the car that maximum grip. So the next time you see a dragster doing a burnout, you'll know it's more than just a show of smoke and noise. It's engineered precision to give the car the best chance at winning. Let's talk about the clutch system. It's a bit different from what you might find in a street car. Top fuel dragsters use an automated clutch system which releases power in stages. The team programs this system to adjust based on track conditions. If the track is slick, the clutch is released slowly to prevent wheel spin. If the track is grippy, the clutch can come out faster, putting all that torque to the ground. It's all about finding that sweet spot for maximum power delivery. And of course, there's downforce. The rear wing on these dragsters can generate a staggering 3.5 tons of downforce, which is double what an F1 car produces. This helps the car stay grounded at high speeds, providing even more grip for acceleration. The exhaust headers, which angle upwards, also help generate downforce. It's all about keeping the car glued to the track as it rockets down the quarter mile. Finally, let's talk fuel. Nitromethane is the fuel of choice for top fuel dragsters. This isn't your average race fuel. Nitromethane burns significantly hotter than gasoline and doesn't require air to combust. To stabilize the fuel, 10% methanol is added. This mixture is so volatile that the spark plugs need to be as powerful as arc welders. Without the spark, unburnt fuel could cause an explosion powerful enough to crack the engine block. To handle all that fuel, these engines use supercharged fuel pumps that supply 10 gallons per second. This level of fuel consumption is what powers the car's incredible speed. Now you know why top fuel dragster tires are just so extraordinary. From squatting, ballooning and crinkling to shaking and stretching, these tires are engineered to handle extreme forces, grip the track and help the car achieve the fastest acceleration on the planet. Oh, and before I forget, Goodyear is the exclusive supplier of Top Fuel and Nitro Funny Car tires worldwide. So when you see those dragsters gripping the track, you can thank Goodyear for delivering the tires that make it all possible. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to subscribe for more thrilling insights into the world of motorsport. You won't want to miss what's coming up next. Thanks for watching.